You just yeah. pull, pull the yarn through all the way. Yeah, I work for AGC down here. I worked there for 23, 24 years. I used to test the materials, the rubber materials and the plastics and stuff like that. I was 62. Temporary services my husband and I did. We'd be here one week and they'd send us to another. We did more of the assembly stuff. Oh, I couldn't stay home. I saw almost all of the United States. First we did it on motorcycles. Then we bought them out home. And then we just kept upgrading to bigger and bigger ones. <laughs> so we were used to a confined area anyway. And you only had so much space to move in. So when we moved down here with the five kids, it felt like a big ballroom. <laughs> we, we were outside a lot. Oh gosh, outside. yeah. The only time we came in was to eat and eat. sleep. We used to have a bell I used to bring every night when the kids were all scattered around the neighborhood. Time for supper. Way back when the kids were small, well, the five of them, we used to go camping for two to three weeks. In the tent, in the, all of the paraphernalia that you bring. <laughs> we just lived in the woods, which was just great. It was so relaxing. Well, it's like living in my backyard, too. It's so quiet birds and the animals that run around and flowers and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I do once in a while, like in the fall, I'll start cleaning up the dried flowers and plants and stuff like that, but I'm out there for 10 minutes and I'm ready to come back in. Just uh, get out of breath. Mm -hmm. Smoke too long. Oh. <laughs> Getting old, you're gonna have things happen. <laughs> yeah. And then the summers, um, just the ones that we went with motorcycling and stuff like that. That was fun too, going across country in the summer. Uh, we went through a lot of the, a lot of the states. I loved Arizona. Oh, it was gorgeous. Mm. I have a routine at day during the day and um, I go to Mass on the television, and uh, you know, after that I knit, or crochet, or sew, or whatever, and then I'm on the computer, and at night I watch television, and I read, too. But you do what you can. Right after I retired in, in 88, um, I went part-time, I went temporary, signed up with temporary services. And I worked in so many different places and doing different things. It was really, really interesting. Yes. I can't really volunteer anymore. Yeah. I, I haven't got the stamina. I used to work at the soup kitchen. Yeah. I loved that, really. Um, but I've got enough to do. Just having a computer, too. It's a world out there. It hasn't been a stressful life. So that makes a big difference and how people turn out too.